Good. Now advance to the vehicle nearby. Delta-2, your turn. Move up to the debris. That thing isn't going to offer you much cover, but it's better than nothing. There's full cover straight ahead. Advance to that position. Delta-3, move to that vehicle dead ahead. Central, I have movement. 30 meters north of my position. Police vehicle. Roger. Proceed to the next vehicle for a better vantage point. Delta-4, go check it out. It's a long way from your position, and there's no available cover between here and there, so you better double-time it. Holy hell. What do you see, Delta-4? Report. Looks like one of the recon teams, sir. It looks like something... Is that your man, Delta-4? Negative, sir. That's someone else. Dr. Valen, what's he saying? He is saying, help me. That radio transmission is coming from somewhere north of the squad's current position. Based on its strength, probably from inside a structure. Thank you, Doctor. Delta, advance and infiltrate that building. And remember, stay in cover. Central, I got a lot of blood here. Roger. See where it's coming from. Central, I think I just found another one of the recon team. Or what's left of him. But this doesn't make sense. Looks like he's been dead for a week. Even more perplexing is the cause of death. It appears that he was eviscerated when something burst out of him from the inside. Sir, I have visual on the object. Permission to approach. It's the only cover between you and that building. Permission granted. Talk to me, soldier. What is it? I got no idea what this thing is, but I can confirm that it's no satellite. Roger. All right, Delta Squad. You're almost to the building. Keep moving. Okay, people. Now let's get inside. Delta One, there's a window in front of you. Let's take a look. In position. Looks clear. Copy that. Get in there and get to cover. Delta 2. That door's in our way. Take it down. Solid copy. <laughs> 
Central. We have eyes on the target. He's armed. Copy, Delta-3. Okay, everyone. Get into position nearby, but do not approach. Doctor, see if you can communicate with him. Tell him to drop his weapon. I will try. Hello. Können Sie mich hören? Wir sind hier, um Ihnen zu helfen. Bitte lassen Sie Ihre Waffen fallen. He appears to be in shock. Keep your eyes open, people. I don't like the looks of this. Delta-3, move in and disarm him. Carefully. Delta-1 is down! Central! Protecting fire for multiple x-rays! This guy's got me pinned down, taking heavy fire! Damn it! Delta-2, your flank too. Find some better cover. Delta-2. Weapons free. Get ready to fire. Nice shot. Delta-4, you're freed up to move. Get out of there and get into cover. Now toss your grenade at the enemy in front of you. There's another one coming in behind you. Damn it. It's just you now, Delta-2. Let's tip the odds in our favor. Look around for a position where you can flank the enemy. That's it. You have a clear shot from that position. Fire. Central, I think that's it. It's over. Roger that, Delta. Secure the bodies and head back to the Sky Ranger for immediate extraction. What 
are they? Whatever they are, they nearly took out a squad of our best soldiers. If you'll excuse me, doctors, the commander is waiting in mission control. Their technology is far beyond ours. Then I'd say our work is cut out for us, Doctor. Welcome to XCOM HQ, Commander. I'm Central Officer Bradford. My role in this project is twofold. Providing tactical support for our field operations, and keeping you briefed on the current situation. My efforts should allow you to focus on the bigger issues at hand. Speaking of which, we have a soldier waiting for a promotion in the barracks. I'll let you get to it. Commander to the barracks. Commander to the barracks. Commander, the soldier is waiting for you in the armory, which is located there in the barracks. Only one recruit from Delta Squad made it back alive from our last mission, Commander. And I'd say a promotion is in order. As you know, Commander, every soldier is different. This particular soldier has shown an aptitude for heavy weapons. As he gains additional combat experience, we should continue his training along these lines. This soldier will now carry a rocket launcher, in addition to his standard weapon. The aliens won't know what hit him. Oh. Dr. Valen asked to see you in the research labs, Commander. It sounded important. Commander to the research labs. Commander to the research labs. Hello, Commander. My name is Dr. Valen. I oversee the research labs. This is where all of XCOM's research and development takes place. We have already begun analyzing the artifacts recovered from our first encounter with the aliens. Based on our preliminary findings, we believe we can use them to develop some new equipment for our soldiers. With your approval, we will begin research immediately. Thank you, Commander. This research will take some time. We will notify you once it is complete. Commander to mission control. 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 The enemy is testing our capabilities, Commander. We've gotten reports of simultaneous attacks in two different countries. We can only respond to one. The country we help will donate more resources to our cause. But the panic level of the country we choose not to help will rise. It's not an easy decision, Commander, but it's one you'll have to make. Understood. The troops are waiting for you in the hangar. Commander, before deploying our squad, you can choose which soldiers to send out there. I've taken the liberty of calling up our veteran. His combat experience makes him invaluable on the battlefield. Solid copy. Good to go. Ready to deploy. Our AO is within the continental United States. We've picked up a local broadcast.